So what was it like? First impressions? Uh, it's, it's good fun and not at all scary. So you can see that as a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Hi, I'm John from Bike Social. This is Helen. We've just done about 130 miles, about a tank full on the Nikon. And when we stopped for coffee, you said it's not that scary. You can see that as a good thing or a bad thing. What do you mean? Well, I guess what I mean is that it looks like quite a beast of a bike. It's, um, I'm not a nervous pillion, but I don't like to have my breath taken away and that feeling of like being thrown off the back of the bike. And I thought that that bike would give it that me that feeling but it's actually um, really smooth and really comfortable and you don't feel the acceleration so you don't feel that kind of like stomach going up feeling so that's either a good thing or if you're an adrenaline junkie not so good. Now, I mean obviously I've got this shared luggage on it you've got the top box and yeah. you you that love going on bikes help. with top box yeah because yeah, that that I noticed you you weren't really even gripping on Normally when we go no, out. No, it's always nice to have a top box because you can just relax back into it and you don't, I don't find I have to cling on as well. Yeah, um, yeah. But I mean, it, it, you different. seemed almost disappointed that it wasn't. I was more surprised really because I yeah. thought it would be, I thought the acceleration would really suck you to the back and it would kind of be uncomfortable and over fast, but I didn't find that. Because of course, the, the, when we went out with you on the back um, last was on my MT-10. Yeah. And I thought you'd hate that. Yeah, Actually, that gave I did hate a... it at first though. Oh, right. I did hate it at first. It took me a good um, hour probably. Yeah. And having to have that little talk to myself about, you're not going to fall off the back, you will be okay. And then once I'd had that little talk and I relaxed, I realised I wasn't going to be thrown back, but it took me a while. Yeah. I bedded into this instantly. I bedded into your bike uh, after it's turned, yeah. quite a long and time. A lot of that's probably the top box, I guess. Yeah, top box and just a different feel. Yeah. They're totally different bikes, aren't they? So you said it's, it, you kind of felt comfortable at it straight away. Yeah. What is the seating position like? Does it feel like a good, comfortable seat? No, when my brother, he's a bike instructor, saw it, he said, oh, I wouldn't want to ride that thing because it's going to throw you back and you've got your feet right out. He yeah, thought it would be uncomfortable. The pillion pegs are really far I forward. didn't even notice. I just got on and I sat there and I just felt comfortable. It didn't, okay. um, it actually helped me to have my legs slightly at that angle because I get sore knees because of the knee armour in oh, any okay. bike trousers that I where when I'm scrunched up in that position. Oh. So the fact that my leg was slightly straighter, I found comfortable. Because yeah. I took Steve on the back of it, mm. uh, and he said it was really uncomfortable. But to be fair, that was a horrible, cold journey right down mm. south of London. And he had a 20 kilogram rucksack on with all my camera Well, gear. yeah, if he, and did he have a top box? No. So he was probably feeling unbalanced He's by the... He's probably bracing himself, and he had all that... By the rucksack. Back, yeah. um, I think, cause with those pegs forward, though, it's, it's like on a feet-forward bike. You can't mm. lift your weight up, but you didn't notice any problems with that. No, I really found it comfy, and I also found that, I, as I sat there, I could brace myself okay. against it in the braking, so I didn't oh, have to hold yeah. the thing. So I was using the foot pegs to, to brace, brace myself, and, and okay. then it was leaving my arms free. I did notice you banging your head against me a couple of times. Yeah, but that's when you... I do that on any bike. If you break suddenly, I'm not. But you're also tucking in behind me, weren't you? Yeah, that's because I'm. Um, that's because the seat makes you sit high. Okay. Um, and I'm short in the body. I'm only five three, and in a body protector, I'm a child's extra extra large. Yeah. So I'm very short in the body, and even I had to hunker down because otherwise it was way too buffety. Okay, so if you were very so long in the body, or a tall man, or yeah. a tall woman behind, I think you'd find it really uncomfortable being buffeted because you need to crouch behind the person. So yeah, you, when you crouched behind me, you felt fine, didn't you? Yes. Did you notice it was making my head whip around like this while I was riding? Yeah, but I didn't really care. Because <laughs> it was really <laughs> uncomfy for me. Yeah, as you tucked it in, wasn't for me, it was, that was awesome. Uh, good. But I, if I had stayed upright, I'd have been the one being buffeted. Yeah, and, and that's down to the screen. <laughs> um, it needs a bigger screen on there, I think, if you're going to yeah. do talk to it. And even for me, riding on my own, I've noticed that it's, it's not throwing you around, mm. but it's got quite a drumming, buffety sound. Uh, it, yeah, it is a buffety bike. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. know. Um, probably a screen would. So help Steve that. said he couldn't get hold of the pillion, uh, so the grab handles very easily. Mm. But you, you had no problem. Again, yeah, I think Steve's pack. problem was the fact that he's unbalanced by having a massive rucksack on the back. Um, and it was snowing. And being cold. And when you're cold on a bike, you you sit differently. You're not relaxed because it's you tense. Yeah. Um, I found it fine. If I wanted the grab back rails, I could just go like that and quite easily hold them but because I was bracing myself on the pegs I didn't need to yeah mm. so we talked going back to you saying about it wasn't scary 
Mm. I noticed that fully loaded, so with both of us on it, I think that that MT-09 engine in the MT-09 is great. It, obviously, it's not as punchy as the MT-10, but you've got 70 kilograms more weight in this bike alone. And then with me on it, and then with you on it, and our luggage on it, mm. the engine didn't feel like it was struggling, did it? No, but it not just at all. didn't have that. Whoa! I Although I did find it. that when um, when we were coming away from the farm that we stopped at, yeah, yeah, and there was that little uh, single carriageway road. Yeah. Then when you nailed it there, up to up to speeds of sixty, <laughs> <laughs> um, it um, then I got that feeling. Okay. It, there was that sudden rush. I think most of the time we were we were doing open roads, weren't we? There wasn't yeah. really that opportunity to. Yeah, no, I, there were times though I, on dual carriageway where I'd open it up, and it just it goes fine. It's not mm. going to struggle at all, but it hasn't got that real burst of speed that. A, no, but it's not. It's not really that no. kind of bike, is it? No. Especially loaded up with luggage, you wouldn't yeah. expect that. Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, so overall, you're more than happy to. Yeah, I really spend liked a lot it. Of time on it. Yeah, yeah I and I also uh, another thing. Um, that people have said is that the, the seat doesn't look comfy, but I found it exactly just the same as all other seats that I've been on. In yeah. that I usually get about an hour and a half. I mean, and we're then not I get talking like <laughs> massive pan European. No, or no, no, comfort, no. But, but, um, but as a, it's, it's certainly it looks smallish, but you no, it was it right. your bum. Yeah. For me riding it, I think because you've probably got about fifty kilograms more over mm. the front, and the the weight bias of this bike is over the front mm. more so than a normal two you know, two wheel bike. Uh, it's really easy to ride with a pillion. It feels much less vague on the front. Now, having that remote uh, preload re um, adjuster was handy. I, I don't know if you noticed, but I was fiddling with that while we yeah, were riding. Yeah, I wondered what you It's did. hard to crank Thought it up. something was maybe falling off. No, <laughs> it is hard to crank it up while you're going. You really need to be off it. Mm. But just being able to do that remotely is really quick and easy just to bring the preload up, just to get the um, attitude of the bike up a little mm. bit. You know, even without it fully cranked up and luggage and you on it, it just feels a lot more confident to ride than a two-wheeler because mm. it's not all pitching back. So, yeah, it's mm. I, what lets it down. I, I thought the comfort for you would let it down, but really all that's letting it down then as a tourer because you, you, you have got more grip on the front. Mm. Uh, so as a big European tourer, great. The only thing that lets it down, I think, is that tank range because 130 miles and we're needing mm. to get fuel. Yeah. You like stopping, though. You yeah. You like having wheeze, so. I do like having whees. <laughs> and I like having ginsters. So it's a winner. What about the feeling of walking back to it? Um, I still, I like it, but I still find it weird looking. And I can't really get over that. I'm yeah. a little bit, I just can't get my head around the fact Is that it, it's different. It's probably I'm not. kind of proud of it, Yeah. but not, I think I prefer more traditional <laughs> ones. I don't want to be mean about it because it's a good bike. But for me, it's probably just a little bit too different. I think it's it's not helped by the abuse it gets on social media by people who haven't tried it. Mm. Keyboard warriors. Yeah. It, it just batters you down after a while, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's good to be different. Yeah, it's, it's good to be different. Yeah. just feels like a little bit like you're looking at somebody who's got three eyes. <laughs> you're like, they're still kind of attractive, but just a bit weird. <laughs> just leave it out there and go out again. <laughs> yeah, OK. Can you just um, run over there and see if I'm completely in the frame? Just look at the screen on the front of it. No, the screen's on the front. <laughs> well, now you've got your head in the way of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know how to look at it without getting in it. Uh, yes, you're completely in. Cool. Thank you. All right? Yeah. Good. Thank you.